every home needs heat. It's your choice as a homeowner as to how you heat it, but of course, the most reasonable solution is still a gas-fired furnace in North America. We were in a situation where the power was out at home. The lights went out, it was cold. We were unable to provide a shelter for our, our families. So we thought to ourselves, there's gotta be a better way. We don't expect much from our home comfort solutions. We only expect them to work, but we don't challenge them to do more. Through our demonstration projects, we've been able to showcase this innovative product that does do more. The i2 is able to take natural gas or propane as an input. It uses that as a base fuel, and then it's able to convert some of that energy into heat and some of that energy into electricity that's usable by the device itself. It does not need an external input of electricity. By having that one fuel input, it's offering you layers of energy freedom. Being able to be source agnostic is really having a choice in which energy source you use. So whether in our case it could be natural gas, could be propane, it could be electricity, it could be renewables, and it could be a blend and very well should be a blend of all those things. The energy landscape is built on a century-old system, if not older, and it's being pushed to its limits. If we were building a traditional furnace, I would be worried about how that furnace can react to higher efficiency standards that are required, higher environmental policies. The furnace market right now is enormous. In North America, you've got five and a half billion dollars of sales in gas-fired furnaces alone. And that happens every year, and that grows every year. I think the market needs to uh, challenge itself to create better products. There have been gains in efficiency, but I think we've plateaued in where we can go with that. If we, as a company, participate in challenging that industry to do more, and as a result, rewarding that industry, the governments and all of the stakeholders with that carbon reduction, GHG reduction, with those savings, with the flexibility, then I think we've done our job.